Yo! How we doing, people? What's with all these horses? A lot of horses here. Hope everybody's having a good Saturday. Happy beginning of college football. That's what I was watching earlier today. Fucking crazy game, man. Georgia Tech. <laughs> How do you do? Yay. What are you yaying about? What are you yaying about? Oh, uh, yeah, they don't play this weekend. They play next week. There's only a couple games, uh... Couple games this weekend. I'm not really interested in too many of them. But hey, don't gotta worry about Florida State bitching them on and again this year. Although I think that they should have been in the uh, the playoff last year. As 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 a former player, I found it to be what what happened to them last year was so disrespectful to the rest of the team. Right. Well, I think we'll probably be on for like an hour and a half, maybe. I gotta grab my dinner. And then I'll be back on later. There's all these fucking horses here. I have no idea whose they are. I don't know what's going on. I gotta grab some more ammo too. Grab a little bit. Why does my walk style never feel right? See if Nancy's around and talk to her. You're having an early dinner, huh? Alright. City is fucking empty. Shaka. Oh, never mind. Rangers are here. How's it going, Lydia? Hello. Whoa. Actually, Carla, I was about to send you a telegram. Oh, well, look at it. I was going to ask you, would you be interested in doing any of your dice games tomorrow for the second half? Um, I don't know. What time does it start? Seven, right? It starts at six. Six, okay. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to stick around is the problem. Um, I, I could probably be there for the first few minutes. And, you know, maybe sit down quickly, grab something to eat, and then I get got to head back home. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. It's all right. I just wanted to see if you were even doing it, but I understand. <clears throat> all right. Yeah, I apologize. It's... uh. Mm -hmm. 
Oh no, you're gonna miss all the festivities afterwards. I'm sad now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm kind of upset about it, but you know what are you gonna do? I, I, I usually gotta go take care of some things in my apartment during that time, you know, mm -hmm. hour and a half time frame every day. Yeah, it's alright. It's alright. <clears throat> okay, but um... you never know; it could change. Um, you know, if some of these things get done earlier in the apartment or not, it's kind of usually that's not the case, but you never know. Okay. That's fine. Well, if so, um, feel free to telegram me. No yeah, way. I will. <clears throat> right, well, either way, I'm excited for tomorrow. I've been sending so many invitations. <laughs> well, I said, same reminders. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it for, for at least whatever I can experience. Yeah. <clears throat> also, I, uh, I didn't see and timely suspect I'll have to let you know when we finish. What's that? I said I think I may have to let you know about something I saw. Oh, okay. I All right, what's going on? All right, sorry, he's wrapping up there. Yeah, no worries. All right. Um, yeah, I can decide. I don't mind. All right. Well, um, today I saw the, I guess, untimely presence of the Nichenzos. I guess they're around, so I just want to let you know that. Yeah, back for a, uh, yeah. quick trip in again, huh? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, they, they were asking me what's been going on in the city and stuff's been going in disarray and all that, so. Apparently they're saying they were looking for the dirty boys. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for letting me know. Yeah, of course. I wasn't sure why they were looking for them. They were saying they did some stuff in the town recently, so... You know, I didn't hear anything about that, but... Yeah, they've been looking for Italians. Hmm. I don't really know exactly what their reasoning is, but... Uh, apparently they're not too friendly towards people of my heritage right now. That's, that's not good. Yeah, you were saying with them burning down the place and stuff, and... Burning trash cans, even though I thought that was somebody else. I don't know who that who's been doing that. We thought it was them, but I don't. We never seen them doing it, you know, mm -hmm. with our own eyes. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Who do you think was doing it? Ah, uh, I thought I heard that it was an individual. Was what I heard. Oh, like a street like, kid like or something. Else? Yeah, like a street kid. So that's why I was surprised when he was connecting it to the dirty boys. Hmm. I didn't really think it was them. But I didn't say anything. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how long they're going to be around. They said they were going to come to the event tomorrow, too, so. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know if they're going to actually make it or not. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> um. All right, well, thank you for letting me know. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Yeah, uh, i got to go write, write a couple more telegrams and then uh, head out. Sounds good. I'll be around for a bit, probably writing the same myself and starting to prepare tomorrow. All right, sounds good. Take it easy. You too. I 
How you doing? Hello there. I don't remember his last name. Oh, fuck, Nancy. Uh, we just go up to Van Horn? I don't really want to do that. I kind of want to just ride around right now. We ride by the uh, the Chinzo's mansion, see if they're around. <laughs> Still, like she's saying, we don't really have anything to talk to them about. Let's go see. Okay. Nobody, nobody. Nobody. Um. Oh, should we go to Rhodes? Oh, I want to see if um, fucking Kitty's there. Maybe Shepton will be there too.
let's do um Where the hell is my ambient music? There it is. Nope, not that one. This one. Yo, Juicy, what's up? How we doing? I got a telegram already. Okay. Yeah, you do. You can turn them on and off. Basically, it's just like the Telegram boy. It's only when you go into cities. Or like towns. The Telegram boy comes and waves for you. Is what, uh, what we say. See that little icon down by the microphone there? On the bottom left? It'll go away at some point soon. But like if you have a telegram, you come into town, that notification will pop up. Oh, she's just sending these out. Black tie. How you doing? God, just got another telegram. What the fuck? Logan. Yep. Didn't mean to do that.
one horse there. And there's a couple horses. We see Kitty or Shepton, I think I might go in, but I'd rather do it with a couple guys. Yeah, I don't see anyone in there. Alright. You don't need the guys. <laughs> we probably don't for them. Logan again. I gotta get these other uh, ambient songs into my stream deck. I only have the three right now. There's a couple more I wanted to add. I keep forgetting to do it. Fucking horses. Do it in your one and a half hour break today? Well, the, the, I usually, that's when I eat dinner. With my family. Yeah, you get your, oh shit. Okay. <laughs> Look at them speak. These are shit. From you, I'm out. You got a grateful? Ah. Yeah. What's going on? You, you said the local shot you yesterday? Yeah. I was just getting on a horse and he got mad. I didn't even, I wasn't even close to him. Yeah, that's happened to me before over there. Yeah. It was very weird. Hmm. Oh but shit, yeah. I got the train running. But you alright? Um, yeah, just a little sore today, but I'm alright. Alright, good. Um, what would you need my help with? Do what? What would you need my help with? Um, well, I don't know that I'll need your help anymore. Are, are you gonna, do you want to get these now, or? Uh, I can, or if you want to wait, that fight's fine too. Alright, do you want me to put them in a crate for you, or you just want me to give them to you? I, either way, I can find a place to put them. Okay, do you have enough space in your pockets for eight 
Stacks. Um, no, but I will with Furio walking over here. Okay. What, lemons? Uh, no. Pineapples. Ah. He yeah, I got all kinds of lemons. Yeah, he found out I was going to uh, Guarma and said he needed pineapples. Fables. So. Hello, hello. How we doing? Doing good, doing good. Oh, there we go. I'll let you. Alright. Right. I'm gonna give you. Hold. Uh, around a little over half. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is you handing me this. Okay. <laughs> I, want, I was wondering why Josie was handing me a key to her apartment. Oh, um, boy. Josie did not hand you a key. That's why I was Part confused. I, <laughs> I was really confused why it had Furious <laughs> room number on it, too. All right. We've been meaning to tell you this for a while. Furio, please. It can't keep oh. it a secret any longer. Oh no! Oh no! I thought that. <laughs> All right. Now I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna Trust give me, you don't ever have to worry about that. <laughs> Love is bad for business. Oh. All right. So, how many of these can you carry? I guess carry Carlo's these. bad at business. That, that right there is all I can carry. <laughs> okay. And Furio. I'm gonna give you some right, of these right. too, okay? Uh, carry four bundles of pineapples for me? Uh, four is all I can carry. You're perfect. Well, that's good, because that's all I have. Alrighty. Alright. Are you making an upside down cake? <laughs> no, oh, I got them for can wild one some? punches. Uh, you well, gotta I step I, it up. Right. <laughs> No, I'm not I'm not much of a baker. Oh, excuse me. Oh, Eli Blair's back. No more Jacob Michaels. That person looks just like Lily. What the fuck? I need to go... Uh, I don't know what I need to go do. Oh, uh, Nothing. Wait, what, did there, you, actually. What, did you, what did you want for these? Um, they're uh, 75 cents a can. So, honestly... I didn't pay for a crate, so if you just want to pay me the 75 cents, I'm good with it. Alright, yeah, uh, he's at. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Alright, perfect. Yeah, no problem, appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Like, uh, I only make these drinks, I see them all the time, but I never had uh, pineapples. Well, there you go. <clears throat> Alright. Also, also got a Slimmons, so if you need to. Oh yeah, let's uh, let's go over to the wagon for that. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, see you guys later. Like that. I, gotta, I gotta go put these on a wagon. Would anybody be interested in riding the train to Birds oh, today? No. I'm alright. I'm not uh, not heading out of the city quite yet, but I appreciate you. I mean, you unless you want to take us down to the wagon depot. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> it's a very short ride. I mean. We could just stop uh, there if that's okay with you. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. Let me. Yeah, we can do that. No, that's fine. I'm, I'm just joking. No, we can take you to the wagon depot. That's not a problem. We go past it anyway. I, mean, I don't see why not. All right. Let me show my horse. Oh, okay. Okay. How much is how much is it? Oh no, it's fine. Honestly, we're putting the train away after this. You're okay. Alright. Okay. Yeah. Well, do you want to do something cool before the train starts? Since, you know, you're you're having a bit of a rough time? What am I gonna do? Okay, come with me. Oh, okay. Yep, do you think you can pull yourself up? Uh, yep. Oh, look at you getting wow. the special seat. Okay. Okay. You see that rope there? Uh, yeah. I want you to pull it. Really hard. If you can. <laughs> I 
There you go. <laughs> right. That's so. There you go. So she's got like a little we bell sound effect. We will stop at the um, the the wagon depot. All right. Sounds good. Well, I'm tired and eager to get this train away, so uh. Can you go right this, here. Yeah, this is fine. Can I Aren't interest this... you guys before we leave in any food or drink uh, from the Nine Lives Saloon? Um, what do you got to drink? Um, I've got fruit beer and lemonade. Uh, I'll take a weak beer. Oh, it's root beer. Oh, root beer. Um, yeah, I'll try the root beer. Why not? Okay. And do you want any food, please? I've got gumbo. Uh, sure. It's so helpful for me if people could take this food. All right. And JC? Uh, sure, I'll, I'll take something. All right, we ready to depart? I'm good, thank you. All right, I think we're good. All right. Since crossing transit authority, this train will depart in just a few seconds hmm. to Rhodes. Please stand back. I don't think I've had root beer since I came down to the crossing. May I ask how much your ticket costs? Um, well, we're putting the train away after Rhodes, so we're only going to Rhodes. Uh, would I be able to hop on for that, or is, uh... uh you can just hop on for free at this point, yeah, because it's our last stop. I appreciate stop. that. So, um, we just ask for your name still. We ask that you guys stay out of the caboose, and, um, we ask that you don't jump on top of the hot coals. So, alright, but I think we're all ready. Alright. Stand clear of the platform! Just a second. Oh. Oh? No. Oh, oh lord. Oh lord. Oh god. Oh, they got run over by a train. I think that was their fault there. I mean, probably. Was that Ricky? It sounded like him. I don't know of any other way I can announce it because I have a whistle now. I shout. I don't. I'm not the best shouter. So yeah, I've got a whistle oh. and people still ignore me. Oh, sadly, can't use his whistle unless he's like he really wants to. Alright, uh, Miss, if you could just give me your name real quick. We'll, uh, we'll definitely stop at the wagon until I need to make sure that we remember that and we don't just kidnap you to Rhodes. Yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> no, I don't want the SCTA to get the wrong impression out there. <laughs> hey, what's your name, sweetheart? Um, I'm Peggy. I work over at the Nine Lives of Kitty. I'm Ah, Peggy. okay, okay. Hello, Miss Kitty. Tell her, uh, tell her Mr. Barletti says hello. Appreciate Mr. Barletti. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rhea. Rhea Jefferson. Pleasure to meet you. All good, that's what we're here for. And do you know uh do you know Mr. Shepton as well? Oh Shepels, yeah, yeah, he's a good friend of mine. <laughs> Tell Mr. Shepton we'll have to fix him up some of our uh, best food in the city next time he's in St. Anne. He's gonna be gone for a little bit. Oh that's right, I did hear about yeah, that. Yeah, for a couple of weeks, but once he's back I'll let him know. If right. I remember if I'm honest. Yeah, no worries. Okay. Well, if you wanna go from here all the way to Annisburg, it's for example it's gonna be five dollars. I think this is the closest we're going to get you because we're going to be staying on the left Yeah, no worries. All right, take it easy. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Yeah, you still. You right? Of course, Telegram Boy was waving for me right as we were leaving. I mean, you're here. Hey, take it easy. Something smells good in my house. Somebody's cooking something up. Do 
Dude, I saw that um, Ryan was back on Wild today. Um, I hope he sticks around, man. I fucking love Mama Christine. Outstanding character. He's very good at making funny shit happen. How'd you manage to bring all them lemons and all the pineapples over? Uh, for some reason, I don't know why, but Deke is over in Guarma right now, and I ran into him when I was actually going up to the lemon stand. Mm hmm And he helped me bring them back. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that was nice. Yeah. I, I told him he did not have to do that, and I would pay for his ticket, but he offered, so I was like, well, okay. Huh. There you go. Apparently there's issues going on right now between the people he's supposed to be running with and his other friends going at each other. So what, like just, the Lempany folks and and who Lempany else? Lempany and do you know who? Do you know who Charlie Finn? Do you know who Finn is? Right? Yeah, I know them. I know them. Do you, know you need Charlie an empty is? crate, by the way? This is this is empty. Uh yeah, I know Charlie. Yeah, he's friends so, with he he he's friendly with Douglas. The Limpany people are after Charlie. Why? I don't know. It has something to do with Weston. Yeah. I had somebody, one of them was asking me about them the other day. I can't fucking remember who it was. Alright, here you go. Who is my hurt friend? That's uh, that's Carlo's wife. That's Josie. All right. Oh my god, we have an empty drink crate. Jesus Christ, one of the drink crates got emptied out? Yes. Oof. I told you it was so busy. <laughs> you need an empty crate at all? Um, Any of your wagons? Yeah, use that one. You want it in a certain spot? No, just stick it in there. All right. When was the wedding? It was um, it was like a month ago. A month or two. Yeah. She's gonna adjust. <laughs> Dude, why does it smell like French toast? Hmm. Joe, anything else interesting happen on Guava? No. Just lemons and that's it. Well, pineapples then lemons. There you go. You see anybody else There's over a, there? It is like a freaking ghost town over there. Eh, don't surprise me. It's just so weird because when I lived over there, it was always so busy. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I know things change, but holy shit, it's 
It's crazy. Well, I think things so, are. Uh, oh, go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. You think things what? I think things are just kind of changing all over. You know, just uh, business slowing down everywhere, not just here. You think so? Uh, everywhere besides roads. And what were you gonna say? Uh, I was just wondering what our plans were. I know you said something yesterday about. Uh... You had sent Nancy a telegram. Yeah, I talked to uh, Squeaky Pete yesterday briefly mm -hmm. when I went over to Van Horn. And, right. uh, whatchamacallit, um, I told him about the whole situation. He said he'd look into it and get back to me, but we're going to talk to Nancy later today, too. Um, training Lydia today. Okay. In like two, a little bit over two hours from now, I think. Um, and then not outside of that, nothing. Apparently, the Dicenzos were around. That's what the uh, Lydia Spain was telling me. Yeah, I bumped into her. And I got an interesting telegram from Jeremiah saying whether or not he can trust them. Okay. So I don't know what that's all about. Very cryptic. Yeah. Very strange. I told him, you know, probably depends on um, what you're planning on doing with them or what they want to do with you and you know I don't got no problems with them really so and they, mm -hmm. they just ain't really around all that much so coming back from Guarma not having a pig with you did you really have a good time <laughs> I forgot about that <laughs> then you gotta go and take it over to the uh, to the police department drop it off right on so their front door are we gonna have a service for Lily? Yeah. Uh, Esteban sent me a telegram last week asking about it. I told him I'd like okay. to do it this uh, upcoming week. Alright. But I'm fucking. I asked him were there any days that work good for him and his fellas, and they haven't told me anything. So. Okay. I don't know. I was kind of waiting to hear back from them, but. No, no. Hello, hello. Hello again? Yep. I hope she doesn't come back. But, I mean, maybe we just. Uh, we just set a date and then go with it. Yeah. I also still haven't heard shit from Joe. Yeah. Okay, Nancy's around. Uh. I'll just have her come down this way. Douglas was around earlier as well and wants to have a conversation, I think, about Annie. I wonder if that has to do with this fucking other Russian guy. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I sent him a telegram uh, after, after it happened, and we just haven't been able to talk since, so I don't know if he actually knows anything about it or if he just wants to, like, actually find out what happened. Guess we'll see. That was a total run on sentence I just sent to her. Alright. I'm gonna grab the I'm gonna grab a couple rounds of ammo. Okay. And just go up to the bar. I told her we'd be there.
But what were you, what was Douglas talking about? Uh, no, I just, I sent him a telegram after Annie died. Yeah. Just, uh, tell, basically telling him I would rather tell you this in person, but I haven't really seen you a lot lately, so I just wanted, you know, to make you aware that Annie passed away. Mm -hmm. Um, and I was like, if you want to meet and talk about it, we can. Well, he was out of the crossing. I didn't hear from him for a while. He finally got back to me. Um, but then I, I haven't heard from him in ages. And he sent me a telegram today saying he was around. Yeah. If we wanted to meet for that conversation. So. Um. What is this? Not. People just leaving crates everywhere. I know. Um, I don't know if she ever got buried. Well. And we got no way of fucking knowing now. I mean, I guess we can go to the Undertaker's if, and check. But. We need to find out, like, where the hell is Isaac at? Dead. I know he's dead, Carlo. Where is his body? Well, that's what we're talking to uh, these Van Horn people about. <sighs> oh, I forgot. I need ammo. Um, the reason I bring all that up is because Jacob Dalton sent me a telegram yesterday, or two days ago, saying, um, you know, he was in some kind of danger and said that it posed a serious threat to Annie's safety and he wanted to talk to her. I told him that she's passed. I told him how she died. I doubt he'll believe it. But, uh... Especially after he asked, where is she buried? I'd like to pay my respects. And I told him that was left to her significant other, who I just found has now also recently passed. So I don't know where she's buried. I have to go check at the Undertaker to see if uh, she was ever removed. Mm. So he reached out to you first. Uh huh. You. Interesting. Why would he not? Well, I bet he probably tried to telegram her and hadn't got a response. I would assume. He probably had my telegram from all the horse racing shit back in the day. I mean, it's also not hard to find my telegram either. I'm going to go run down the telegrams real quick. I'll be right back. You should take the horse down.
Who's that? Who was that? Should have just assumed it was from her. Dude, my house is just a whopping syrup right now. I need to figure out, are we doing like breakfast for dinner or something? It's overwhelming. Oh my gosh. Wow. Anybody interesting? Uh, it was Nancy just telling me she's coming over. Mm, I'm you can uh, sit down in your seat if you'd like. No, no, you can, you don't want to get shot. I'm uh, okay. I enjoy my cigarette here for a little bit. Yeah, okay. I'll be right back, guys. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Eh, a little sore today. I got shot by a local yesterday in Innisburg. Oh, shit. Yeah, those locals aren't a fucking joke. I wasn't oh, even gosh. close to any of them, and I went to swing my leg over the horse, and he got so mad. It was so crazy. Yeah, yeah, the locals in Annasberg, granted they're not as bad as Van Horn, but they might as well be when they get rhymy. You tell me about it. Oh, that's crazy. What's going on, sweetheart? Hello, Carla. Give me just one quick moment. I just need to rub my, uh, my yeah, yeah. for a second. Sit down at the table here. Alrighty. Were you able to talk to Pete last night? Um, he did pull me and Dio aside for a conversation, but I don't think it's related to what he might have spoken to. I'm not too sure. All right. Well, then I'll just tell it to you from the start. Uh, Isaac is dead. He was oh, beheaded by a fellow named Boris, who, come to my attention, lives in Van Horn. Now, I cut Isaac off. He wasn't with us no more. I kind of sort of writing on a wall with him after Randy passed away. And I didn't want to make it to, you know, my responsibility. Because I knew he was going to fucking do something off the rails. Uh, I don't know what the whole situation was leading up to it, but I think that this Boris guy didn't really believe the uh, truth when it came to Annie's death. And perhaps that's what led him to take the action that he did against Mr. Blackwell. 
but uh <clears throat> regardless I'm not looking for any kind of retribution or anything, but I've heard that Isaac's head is in a bucket in Van Horn somewhere, and I'd like to bury what's left of him out of respect. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm not too happy oh. about his fucking head being kept in a bucket or nothing, but, you know, I ain't trying to start shit. All right, and this this Boris guy, he's the one who's responsible. Um, ninety nine percent sure. You know. Okay. So I've actually had a conversation with him recently. I know that he lives in Van Horn. He's a Russian fella, and yeah. he used to ride around with Hobbs, who was good friends with Caspian. But yep. he has a bit around. Um, Hobbs or Dobbs? That's about it. Dobbs. Dobbs. Yeah, that's it. yeah I remember Dobbs. Yeah. Um, that's all I know. But I, I have seen him around Van Horn a few times, but I don't know much more than that. You think he's just kind of operating by himself right now? He looks like he's doing his own thing. I think he I'll he like made mention that he's trying to put together a crew, but. Mm -hmm. I don't think he has a gang at the moment, but he certainly looks like he does have a few friends here or there. Okay. Well, if you see him at some point, I would love to, uh, Hello. to acquire these things from him. <laughs> Douglas, what's going on, my friend? Hey. I like the shirt. How are you doing? Thank you. I've been driving some cattle. Ah. <clears throat> Hope your uh, oh. hope your trip out of the crossing was all good. Yeah, yeah, it was all good. It was all good. I'm back now. Wonderful to hear. Um, by the way, I seen your friend riding around the city maybe half an hour ago. Oh, I don't give a fuck. I rode past him a bunch. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Figured I'd Am let I you know. Um, I mean, I think we were kind of wrapping things up here. Um. Well, I'll tell it's... you what, I'll uh, wait outside. Uh, do you want to have that chat, Josie? Whenever yeah, you're done. yeah, give me just a minute. Yeah, no problem. Anyway, um, you were saying something, right? Or was I? Um, I can't remember, but essentially... A uh, little yeah, bit Boris, going on. He's, he is in Van Horn... I don't think he has a gang put together, but I, I know that he briefly made mention about looking to put together a crew or in the works of putting together a crew, but mm -hmm. he seems to be a bit of a floater, but I've only ever had one conversation with him, but I know what he looks like and that's what I've gotten out of it. Yeah. Um, that's about it. So you spoke with Pete. What did he say? He said he'd look into it and send me a telegram back. How do you know it's in Van Horn? Um, I have a reliable source okay. that I cannot entail. No, I don't. I don't need to know. So, you just want to retrieve his remains, find the bucket, and bury him, essentially. That's it. Okay. Well, I can have a snoop around, see if I can find anything. I mean. Vanon's not that big of a place, but unless someone's keeping it very well hidden. Yeah. Um, and, you know, same thing I, I told Pete. If you, uh, you know, you come across the Boris fella, just tell him that, you know, I'm looking to retrieve these things from him. So if I counter Boris, do you want me to... Maybe see if I can find out anything for you in regards to this. Yeah, or... that would be nice. Um, you know, I, to be honest, I'd like to speak with him myself, but you know, if it, it can't happen, it can't happen. So if I if I run into Boris and I tell him, like, no, there's someone who wants to speak to you, would you be open to having a conversation with him? And I can 
you know, push him in your direction. Yeah. Would that be something you would be okay. Yeah, that'd be good. That's fine. I don't have his telegram or anything, but I do see him around. Um, so if I next time I see him, I'll I'll have a little chat with him. All right. Yeah, appreciate it, Nancy. How did the how did everything go last night? I I came in a little bit late, so I did I didn't uh, stop in. Cause I was only awake for a little bit. Ah, look who the fuck it is. <laughs> Uh, Alex the Rama, uh, hello. Uh, oh, good lord. What do you mean, good lord? You know, I find it humorous that you just come into the city whenever, but when I invite you here to things like the Corrigan Club, you don't show up. I find it humorous that, you know, when I'm wandering around for hours here in the city and fall off a roof and an injure on the balcony of the Bastille, you're nowhere to be found. When the fuck was this? When was that, right? Last Today. night? Today? How long it's ago? It's like an hour and a half ago. I only woke up an hour ago. That seems like that's your fault. Well, maybe you shouldn't be falling off roofs. <laughs> well, maybe you should invite me to dinner time and maybe I would come and uh, sit at the table with y'all. Do you see us eating any food here? <laughs> uh, food for thought. Ah, uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, how was everything? Uh, Am I interrupting the important meeting? Eh, it's fine. We're, we're wrapping things up here. Um, but no, it's all good. How about you? Where, where's uh, where's all your angels today? Huh? They 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 not uh, they they <laughs> did you finally? Right now. They're what? They're in, they're in heaven? They're in heaven, yeah. <laughs> you descend later. They're gonna descend later? Yeah, yeah, come Jesus down to earth, yeah. Christ. Well, I guess I'll join y'all, if I may. Yeah, that's fine. Um... Mm, yeah. But, you, uh, anything else you wanted to talk about, Nancy? Uh, not necessarily, but... It oh, yeah, how did, how, yeah, yeah, it how did it go? Well. It was really quiet at first, but then it got packed. Like, I want to say 20 minutes in, we had mm -hmm. a full house. Um, Everybody loves to be fashionably late. <laughs> Apparently so, but Adam actually, so because we only had, I think, six fighters, because to extend it, we did best out of three mm -hmm. um, for the fighters. Um, Adam actually went up against Dio. He got matched with Dio on the first set of fights. And Adam won one out of the three. Um, he did grab Dio maybe three times during that fight. And I did clarify that grabbing technically isn't a rule break. It's choking and tackling and head slamming and all that. But grabbing technically isn't. But I did talk to them and I said, I'm going to discourage it even though it's not technically a rule break. So he did get the win, but I think both of them agreed not to do it. But I think Adam might have been a bit upset from what I gathered. But Who got the win? I'm not too sure. Adam? Adam got the first win, he got the second, and Dio got the third as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I think Adam did. was a bit grumpy at the end. Well, you got to understand, we come from uh, New York where clinching is very common. And I think it's uh, you know, something a lot of my fellows have grown accustomed to. And I myself personally like it because it prevents people from fucking turtling up all the time. You know, just keeping their hands in front of their face the entire fucking fight. So I I'm all for it. I'd love to encourage you. Obviously, I'm not going to tell you how to run your own events. Uh, but I, I would encourage that because I think it makes fights more exciting, more interesting. And they don't last for fucking 30 minutes. Um, but, uh, I know that's probably something that we are going to highly, highly encourage whenever we get our fighting events up and running, whenever the fuck we do that. Um, so, yeah, and, and I'm going to be honest with you, I think we're going to try to change the fighting culture around the, the crossing when it comes to that, too. So, just making you abreast of it now. <clears throat> oh, absolutely. I mean, at the end of the day, we said Adam got the win for and swear there's, it's not a rule break, it's perfectly mm -hmm. fine. I think from what I saw and what I was told from multiple sources, Dio then introduced it in the second round as well. And allegedly he won. 
using the same tactics and then both he and Adam together agreed that they were not going to use that tactic on the final round mm -hmm. according to what I've been told now whether or not they want to include that in their fighting style is completely fine it's not a rule break it's not against the rules so that's probably fine there's no disqualification there are no strikes so like I said Adam was probably in the wind to do that but I just I'm concerned that Adam might have been a little bit He's That's very, he's very competitive. Sure. He he gets very emotional yeah. about these things. Um, he'll get over it. Yeah, but yeah, there were some fights with like that, uh, tackling people down and stuff. The I think it was um, Stinkbug who was a new fighter. Yeah, yeah. I never heard I think, of him. Uh, when he tackled, he got a. They did get a rematch. Uh, tackling and wins by. Any of those tactics are instant rematches and they're strikes. So mm -hmm. they oh, did yeah, get he, rematched. He had choked yeah. that locomotive and then kicked him on the ground. Yeah, and that was an instant rematch. That one did not count. We don't count those as victories. But I mean, you know how we do things at the yeah. uh, lights so out. We try to keep things as we possibly can. But um, I don't know. You, you weren't there, but. Pete did make an announcement at the end of the event about an East versus West big fight. He said that the tickets are going to be a little bit pricey and it's going to be a high stakes sort of event. Um, he's asked me to help organize it. So we'll see. We'll see so, how it goes. So, it's certainly going to be interesting. So here's, here's what I'm taking from there. He, came, he either was proposed this idea or thought of it on his own and just announced it as something that he wants to do and hasn't really done any kind of arrangement for <laughs> it yet. From what I've gathered, he said to me that it was a means to squash some beef that they have with the gangs out west. Something to do with there being some sort of conflict with the westerners and the people from Van Horn. And they've that. decided that they're going to... Yeah, I know. They decided they're going to sort it out with fisticuffs, so he he asked me to, to help him organize it. So I'm basically going to be an event planner more than anything. It's nothing to do with lights out. It, I'm just purely hiring my services, but yeah, it's going to be interesting to say the least. So they're going to have specific people fighting, like from each group, just to fucking bash yes. each other in? It's mm -hmm. not going to be, people aren't going to be as, well, I mean, they'll be interested, but, uh, you know, if a lot of the top fighters in the crossing are being left out, you know, they, some people might find some things left to be desired there. Yeah, it's not a, it's not an open public event for fighters to participate. Right. They are picking their roster of fighters, but the public can attend to spectate mm -hmm. and to bet money. That's what I've gathered, but there's more information still to be. Uh, who's uh, who? The people out west, you know. Um, I heard. I don't know the people out west, but I did overhear conversations yesterday in Van Horn about this butch. I've never met him before, but I think they might have some conflict with him, and I think those, <laughs> those lot. So, yeah, I may be uh, I participating no in this. To be honest, have you been fucking riding with them? No, no, no. Oh, they're just going to bring you in on it? But uh, I have been living in the West, and they have talked to me about it. <laughs> so they know like, there's a good fighter out West, and they want you to be on their side. Listen, yeah, last night I was taking on all of Armadillo. <laughs> Jesus. I just I just got to take out Dio. He's with I mean, uh, he's with Sunshine, right? The Butch? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen him around often uh, recently, but... They were at the uh, they were at the market the other week last week. I seen them then. I seen sunshine around. But yeah, yeah. it's be interesting. I'm not too sure. I haven't been given as much information. That's all that Oops. they told me is they basically asked me to help them plan it, put it together, do the announcing, and sell the tickets and whatnot. What are you guys think? I'm basically gonna a hired event planner. <laughs> well, he originally wanted to do it Sunday, but now he doesn't have a date, so he's going to push it back a little bit more. 
um, until he has a confirmed date. He needs to give me more notice than a couple of days, I'll tell you that much, for me to put together an event like yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, you need a, like a week or two at least. At least a week on. I need at least a week together the mm -hmm. events. No, but I was saying where, not when. Um, where is going to be in Birmingham? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Van Horn. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we'll see. Uh, till I get more information, that's all I have. Mm hmm. It'd be nice if there was a, uh, a fighting ring kind of in the middle of the crossing, you know, maybe in, like the Heartlands or something. Yeah. Yeah, or maybe like, I don't know. When I think of the middle, I think of Valentine, yeah, Cumberland, Valentine. like mm -hmm. that area. Yeah, I mean, there's pig pan, but it gets quite dusty there. Yeah, no, you can't do it in town. It'd have to be somewhere outside. It'd be perfect, uh, mm -hmm. you know, because then you could do these big East versus West things and have people coming from both ways and meet in the middle. And then that's like the only time these places are ever mm -hmm. used. You know, there is a, I think there is a ring up in Coulter. In really? the snow, but it's you wouldn't even know it's a ring unless you look at it properly. It has a little pink light. Um, it's in the Coulter town. Um, but yeah, there's a ring outside in the snow. I I've never heard anyone ever using it. I've never uh, heard. I of think it I know before. what you're talking about. I think they did have a fight there a long time ago, but uh, as far as I'm aware, that's the only time. Like in Coulter, right? Not yeah, the frontier. Yeah, it's in Coulter. No, yeah. no, no, not in the frontier, like in culture. But I wouldn't be surprised if there's something in the frontier. There's so much out there. Yeah. They would probably host something in the frontier, but it would be very be a lot very of logistics messy. there. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. And then there's obviously the Guama one, but it's expensive to get everyone out there. Mm hmm But either way... Um, I'll let you, I'll let you get to it. Um, I'll let you know if I hear anything about what we spoke about. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you, Nancy. Yeah, of course. No problem. See you around, Gideon. Yeah, see you around. Tell Deal I'm coming for him one day. Yeah, I will. <laughs> Were you there yesterday? I was here. And who won? Deal, I'm assuming? Uh, Deal, yeah. Yeah. It was, it was Deal and myself in the final. Oh, and he kicked your ass. Yeah, unfortunately, that was probably the worst fight I've ever had with him. Ever, uh, huh? Not, yeah, not, I don't mean like on his part. I just, usually when him and I fight, it goes like, uh, you know how you do rounds over here? We go like nine, ten rounds with each other. Yeah, uh, yeah. With, with him, uh, for some reason, it was just, he just, uh, you know, it was real fast and uh, took me out. Mm. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, still have never beaten him. There's I've always close, next time. I've never beaten him. Adam's figured it out. He just needs to be fucking patient. He like his whole strategy is he's just gonna wait out everybody, and you just gotta play his game, and but people to get too impatient. Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing is with Dio, uh, I mean, yeah, he's defensive, but like, I don't know, his rhythm is just so different, like. uh I'll, I always end up taking like hits to the face, just trying to uh, trying to wait for him to punch, and I just try and counter him. But mm -hmm. he just always seems to like get one in. Yeah, sneaks and by. That's what good fighters do. They rank up yeah. the punches. Yeah. <clears throat> Everything been okay here though. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't around much yesterday. Uh, only been up for like an hour today. But the uh, city's been fucking quiet, I tell you. It's uh, it's a real shame. And nobody's really doing much around here. You know, not really uh, any like groups. Like in general. Yeah, no, I mean, no business is really running. I mean, we're around, but, you know, Corrigan's been good, been really good. Uh, but outside of that, nothing's really been happening. I know Lydia's getting the, the garden up and running again tomorrow. But... You know, Vito and those guys, they've been around. I don't really know if they hang around the Pearl too much. I guess they're doing another fight on Monday. But, yeah, uh, I see Vito, like, randomly sometimes, but uh, I don't really know what he's up to. Yeah, and there's just not a whole lot going on around here right now. Not really anybody living here. Or, well, there are people that live here, but they don't spend time here. Yeah. 
Interesting. It's been pretty active in the West, to be honest. Yeah, West uh, and uh, Rhodes is going through a fucking golden age. Oh, yeah, that Nine Lives Saloon and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, everyone's, every time I go to, they're talking about that place. Yep. Then Pavi's back around, so. Yeah, West, they got the Armadillo Saloon. They got some uh, bartenders constantly there. And oh. Then they have the Plucky Cactus Cafe across the street. And yeah, who's uh, running that? That's a nice spot. Some la some ladies have been working there. There's like four or five ladies all working. What are, they got names? Uh, like, uh, I think it's like one that's like, Either Rose or Rosie and oh. Daisy. Uh, They're all Marley. like flowers. <laughs> uh, two of them are. Are they usually like earlier or later? Sibyl, uh, a little bit later, like maybe in like hour or two from now. Oh, all right. So, I've like, noticed. you know, normal time. Yeah, <laughs> Wes has been uh, Wes has been going through a lot right now. I mean, sure, business is, is good, I guess, for the Cactus Cafe and the... Uh, Saloon, but there's constant fighting over there right now. Mm. I don't know if you're aware of that. Just between all the groups out there? No, no, no. Wait, uh, between the uh, the groups versus the law, I guess. Mm. Constantly. Uh, there's uh, one main group that is trying to uh, make Armadillo the Van Horn of the West. Who's that? Is that Sunshine and those guys? No, 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 no. Uh, I actually don't know what they go by, but it's led by Cook. Cook. Yeah. Hmm. Don't recognize the name. Yeah, he's been around. Cook, Winnie, White Feather, uh, a few others. I don't know. Huh. But they're really trying to push uh, a type of Van Horn environment there. Problem is, it's a sheriff's office, so laws yeah, don't they, come by. They're always going to be there. You're better so, off doing it in the uh, tumbleweed. Yeah, yeah. So they keep uh they keep trying to push law out and it turns into a big fight and every day it's been fight after fight after fight. Lot lot some law had passed away recently from them. Was that how Hooper died on it? Oh well not was that how Hooper died? Uh Hooper was kinda like the has to do with thieves. Oh, okay. Yeah. So every thieves has kinda died off and everyone has gone to Ombadillo now. Interesting. They're all following yeah. you. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's been real busy over there. Constant wars, constant standoffs in town. But a few businesses out there as well. Mm. Well, it's good for you. Yeah, I mean, Adam never stood a chance in that fine tournament. Oh, hey, hey, Adam. I'm sorry. <laughs> How's it going, Mr. Brother? What's going on? Here. Doing fine, just chit chatting. Oh, yeah, what were you chit chatting about? Life. <laughs> yeah. Not just well, life. It just life, yeah. And Anything how beautiful else? it is. Uh, how you put down D01 round? Yeah, yeah, Nancy was in here earlier to talk to her. About what? <clears throat> um, our other thing that I was going to yeah. ask her about. But then it can, we, I asked her how last night went. <clears throat> she said you beat him once but lost the, the, the second and third rounds. And I told yeah. her, uh, I told her, you know, we're, we're very used to clinching. From uh, how we used to do things back in New York. And whenever we get our own fights up and running. We're going to try to highly encourage it. And uh, you know. Potentially try to. Um, persuade the rest of the crossing. Influence the rest of. Uh, the fighting culture in the crossing. To uh, include. Include the clinching. Get in. Do you know the clinch? Wait. Say that again. Do you know how to clinch? Uh, I've never personally been in a fight like that. Are you talking about yeah. where you kind of clinch each other with your hands on your shoulders and all that? No, yeah. mm -hmm. I'm not talking about choking. It's a whole different adventure. Uh, I do know how to clinch, yeah. So that's the best way to get guys like Dio 
to stop fucking keeping their guard up so much. You break up their guard, you, you grab them, break through their guard and get a couple of wax in. It is a little bit difficult to clinch though. I don't know if the, I don't know if most people will get the hang of it. Well, that's why they'd have to learn. Yeah. Always have to adapt. That's what humans do. <clears throat> it's a wise. <laughs> um, Adam Josie's upstairs talking to Douglas about the uh, Annie and everything. Mm. Who even won last night? Good again. Uh, it was me and Dio in the finals, and uh, well, he he took me out pretty quick. Uh, surprisingly, mm. I just mm. I really just couldn't defend against him. Uh, that day, I don't know. It's just he overpowered me pretty easily. Not much I could do about it. Or. You know, if you ever want to have on just one spar, I would love to, while I'm in town, have a little spar with you. Um, yeah, we're training uh, the new bartender tonight. Who's the new bartender? Who's the new bartender? Lydia 3. Right. Oh, this is sweet. I think, is it, uh, what she look like? She has a blue coat that she wears a lot. Dark hair, a little bit curly, and a ponytail, poofy, puffy ponytail. Okay, I think I know who you're talking about. I I saved her in the snow one time, I believe. Well, maybe. I wouldn't know. Well, I'm telling you. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, I told her that I heard about uh, how she's the new Lydia in town. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, there's old Lydia, the, the Lydia Spade, then there's bearded Lydia, and now there's uh, Lydia Three. Yeah, I haven't seen uh, Beard Lily in a while. Yeah, I, I seen her like a week or two ago. Um, but you know, she <laughs> she goes to bed early, so I usually only ever well, see her on a weekend. I don't know. You will look at the same Beard and Lily. Yeah, you want to add her to the uh, to the angels? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll let her know that you have your eyes out for her. Yeah, I'll something. give it. I'll okay, give you your yeah, information. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> All right, you just want to spa? Sure. Uh, yeah, maybe just like one, maybe maybe a two out of three. I see. How about that? How's this sound? Well, whatever you want, get in. Get my hat. Did you say bearded Lydia? Yeah, we did. Yeah, she has a she has a she has a beard. Uh, <laughs> She's the bearded the lady. I have one, but I'll. All right, share mine. Look. Yeah, I'll buy another one. Uh, out back, right? Yep. Okay, let me get, let me get this. <laughs> yeah, it's the same person who plays uh, Maggie from the Milky Hole. Lisa. Where did these two go? Oh, they're right there. Be in a good position. Hello. Huh? How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Did I interrupt anything? No. No, not at all. <clears throat> Just talking about the the whole Thomas thing. Oh, uh, all right. Uh, yeah, uh, Douglas, do you know any anybody named Boris? <laughs> I do. Yes. Okay. We talked Russian, a little bit about it. Russian fellow. He lives in Van Orf. Yeah. Yeah, I heard he, uh, he offed Isaac. Mm-hmm. Unfortunate. But, uh, apparently he's hanging on to his head. I'd like to get it back. He's hanging on to his head? Mm-hmm. He decapitated him? He did. What? Decapitating someone is personal. Brutishly personal. I think he... Did not believe the truth when it came to Annie's passing. Well, I know Boris and Annie were friends. 
But I didn't expect him to go beheading Isaac. I don't know any of the details about what happened, how things escalated to him removing Isaac's head from his body. But I want to talk to him so that I can get a better understanding of how all this shit fucking happened. Do you know when he died? It was prob it was at least one hundred percent within the last two weeks, probably within the last week. Yeah, cause uh, one of my boys got a telegram from from Boris, wanting to meet up meet up and talk. Mm. Said it was urgent, but uh, we we were occupied at the time, had too much shit on our plate, so we never got round to it. But uh, the timing kind of adds up. Yeah. Um, I, I cut Isaac loose. He wasn't working for me no more when this all happened because I had a feeling he was going to go off the rails after Annie died. Um, What's the ball, buddy? Come on. yeah, I'll be there in a, in a bit. Don't wait for me. What's um, he, he's, spa he he's sparring with Gideon. Oh. Um, I just totally lost my fucking train of thought. Yeah, I, I'm i not looking for any kind of retribution unless, you know, I'm unhappy about what I hear. Um, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if Isaac had something like that coming to him. If, uh, But, I mean, if it's for the reason that he thought Isaac killed Annie, you know, on purpose, I mean, she was the only thing keeping him fucking sane, so I don't see any, re any world where he would do something like that. Um... Ultimately, the truth dies with him, um, since they were by themselves up there in the fucking cold. But I seen a body, and it matched up with, uh, you know, how he described that she died. I wasn't stabbed yeah. or shot or nothing. Uh, the whole thing is unfortunate. Yeah, it is. It really is. But, well, I'll see what I can find out, but, uh... Yeah, apparently they're keeping his head... Uh, this is the other thing I'm not too happy about. They're keeping his head in a fucking bucket. In Van Horn. So... All I want is to fucking give him a proper burial. He deserves at least that much from me. I mean, I want to know where all of him is. Like, where's his body? Well, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. Where's his head? Like, what... <sighs> I don't understand any of it. Yeah. Desecrating something like that is, it's a whole new level of disrespect. It's for the worst of the worst, so. Uh, I don't think Isaac deserved that kind of shit. Probably not, but that's what I want to find out. I want to know the story. I'll, uh, I'll get my boy to uh, to reach out to, to Boris and have that chat, and I'll see what I can ascertain. Yeah, I appreciate it. <clears throat> I was uh, a business. City's fucking slow as all hell right now. I mean, club's been good. We've been doing having a lot of success at the club. Josie's been doing great with it. Um, I know Lydia's starting up the garden again tomorrow, but you know, outside of that. City's been fucking dead. Nobody's nobody's really spending time here. Nobody's opening up new businesses or nothing. It's a shame. You know, highs and lows. You know, you know how it is. Yep. Holy shit. Is that law? That's yeah. law. I don't recognize any of them. Oh, uh, well. Are you wanted right now? No. Although I did shoot some of them yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> There's me down here. I'm staying up here. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not wanted. Alright. Well, yeah, let me know, uh, let me know what you hear. And, uh, and we'll chat.
I will do. You uh, you go to your scrapper. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go make sure they ain't killing each other back there. <laughs> I mean, they're probably doing their best. Yeah. We'll take it easy. Hey, man, I haven't got your ass kicked again, huh? Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> Never mind, Gideon. I need to call oh, I couldn't fucking see shit. My number one supporter, and he's not. <laughs> I couldn't see shit in the light. I thought for a second he just hit you so hard your mustache fell off. <laughs> Ain't no way. All right, let's, let's, get, let's get this other one out of the way. So is that the first one? You haven't done two yet? Yeah, that was right. the first We're just one. Doing two out of three. Oh, you know what? Fuck that. I'm not going up there. The Gideon's getting rusty, Mr. Bowler. I am. Sit on the bench. Right. Sit down, old man. You know, so old man! Kick you, but... <laughs> yeah, you, you probably should just go sit on one of those chairs over there. Yeah, I'm going to. It'd probably be on the wall. I just stand right here. Fuck it. No, oh, you want to do the honors this time? Yeah, you want to go ahead and count us down? Sure. Three, two, one, fight. Go for the post over there. Ooh, that was another good counter. Oh, we're bringing it back. These guys are getting really good at fighting. They're, they're they're really iron is sharpening iron. Like the these two, Angelo. I'm H K. How's it going? Pretty good. Yes, you bet. Carlos um, so sassy with his little hands on his hips. <laughs> I I I think Josie's up there talking with her friend Douglas. Yeah, yeah, I know. Very very forward man. Yep. He's, he was like he was like, who are you? <laughs> uh he won't give you no yeah. trouble. He's a good guy. Okay. 
and he was like, he was commenting on how much pink I'm wearing, and I'm like, I've been wearing this since like I got here in the crossing. <laughs> Have you, do you know him? No, I've never met him up. Really? I mean, he's yeah. been around longer than fucking Josie has. I'm sure. Oh, all right, we're even okay. that. Turning around screwed me up. It took me. I know all about it. <laughs> That's Gideon's secret technique. He turns around and blinds him. <laughs> uh, I, I think side hits are, uh, you know, damaging if you, you hit them long you, enough. You're catching somebody from uh, on a spot that they ain't used to getting hit at. So it probably hurts more. That was nowhere close to going down on the map. That's how, uh, that's how Patty got fucked up. That rascal fight a year ago against the uh, Caspian. They tripped on a carpet. What'd you say? How are you feeling? I feel like uh, probably hit a. But yeah, no, uh, Douglas, uh, Douglas, uh, yeah. he's fine. He's a good guy. Yeah, I'm not worried about him. It's always rough, uh, you know. I just think when people meet me, they. Um, they tend to judge footwork. a book by its cover. I tend to do that about people too. Mm. But, you know, it's, uh, there's a reason why they put the summary in the, uh, on the inside of the cover of the book, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes yeah, covers know, even have covers over them. This is true. <laughs> Yeah, this little bit I don't want to take. I don't know, I'm just myself. Thank There's you. really nothing to read. I'm not afraid to yeah. take it. People are always just skeptical around a crossing. You know how they are. Mm. I'm so scared. Yeah, it's because everyone's sensitive. Everybody's just sensitive and everybody's got <laughs> secrets. Yeah, that's true. I mm -hmm. mean, I don't really have any secrets other than... Carlo was spawning me. Right, like Carlo? recipes? He spawned to me. He spawned to you for what? A thousand dollar fight right here. <laughs> No. <laughs> what are you farting around Mishka over there? Oh my god. <laughs> Let me help you up here. Listen, Gideon, I'll um, never forget you asking $3,000 um, for me to sing the goddamn I'm built like, different. Gideon the Squatter. <laughs> yeah, dude, During I was, I was wasted wedding, last night. Gideon? It was the song they met to and fell in love with each other. I was fucking hammered. Oh, that's total bullshit. I felt fine this morning though. I, I didn't I even. Moment, you, can't, you can't bullshit a bullshitter yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even eat anything after that either. Close my eyes. You can close your eyes, okay? Hey, don't forget, somebody's gotta get medical bags. Yeah, we, uh, uh, please yeah. don't do oh, that in front of me. <laughs> Cut over my tempted. <laughs> no, the opposite. <laughs> I'm gonna tell Josie that you're getting tempted. You can tell her she ain't gonna believe you. <laughs> where, where does she go anyway? She's, She's upstairs having a She's conversation. She's upstairs. Yeah. Oh, okay. Josie's changed. Fuck Josie. She's dark Josie now. Mm -hmm. Your predictions no, are true. Oh, Lord. No, <laughs> Lord. Well, there he is. Since this is the final fight between us, oh, oh, oh fuck. Right. okay, disqualified. I win. Since this is the final fight, I'm going all out. Oh, all out, okay. okay. You know, I'm trying oh, to figure my, out. okay, let's go. If there's a Mr. Okay. America over here. <laughs> Mr. America. If there's a what, uh, I mean, probably he really is wearing the flag. You talking about like your fighting style? Yeah, I'm trying to see if I can change it up mid fight. I think you, I think you, I think you can. I think you probably yeah, that's can. I, that's what I was trying to do last far. Just really, uh, you know, yeah, trying no, to pick no, out no. a couple favorites, right? That you like to yeah, use. That's what I'm trying. Okay, well, uh, you say? Yeah, I'm ready. You, you might want to back up. Hey, All right. Yo, Staline, thank you. You need a countdown? Oh yeah, sorry. Countdown, yeah, you okay. you do it, Mishkin. You sure? Mm-hmm. All right, three, two, one, five. You guys could hear that, right? The uh, the the alert. Mm 
He's your number one viewer. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Um, so I received you an article uh, from, I don't know if you know Lex. He works at the uh, Parlor House in Rhodes. Yeah, yeah, I know Lex. Um, so he, he wrote an article and he gave me uh, a copy for me to like pass it around. But the story is basically about him finding a werewolf. And to me, I'm thinking I, he might have just seen Tiki Rama. <laughs> <laughs> I, really want, I really want to go find him and give him this article. Be like, look, Tiki, there's something written yeah. about you. <laughs> well, you stick around here enough, he'll come. He'll, I think Tuesday she usually comes around. Um, yeah. you know, he'll he'll always stop into the city, say hello yeah, to us. He'll, he'll pop, pop in. But mm -hmm. if, if you do see him or anything, tell him that I have an article. Yeah, I'll let him know. He, he's in an article. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, would you like to read it? Yeah, kind of please, funny. please. Like, I was like, he was like writing it in a way that's just so like, like you're telling like a scary story, basically. A lexicon, huh? Uh, yeah, apparently he likes to write like ar articles here and there. Hmm. Um, Werewolf near Wapiti. <laughs> <laughs> At 1 a.m. on Saturday, August 10th, so this is like two weeks ago, uh -huh. you witnessed something only ever spoken about in myths and legends. During a hunting expedition in the northern parts of the Saints Crossing, I lost my way and wandered a bit too far north. Finding myself in the center of wolf territory, right outside with pity, I had to be on high alert or risk a pack finding me out here alone. That is when I heard it. A howl, what at first sounded like a wolf, but listening closer was more like the shrieks of a man. In less than a minute, these wails of pain grew more wolf-like and finally turned into a blood-curdling howl that echoed in the night. <laughs> Jesus. I crawled to the edge of a cliff overlooking Donna Falls and pulled out my binoculars. With the glow of the full moon, I watched a pack of nine wolves take off running through the trees, but they were being led... I guess I should have sponsored him, huh? <laughs> Uh, but they were being led by a monster. This creature was at least eight feet tall and as thick as an oak tree. It ran along on all fours like any other wolves, but mid-stride it stood up and ran away and ran like any man would. I'm telling you, isn't that teeth? I saw that, Kuma. I had heard tales of werewolves in the past. A cursed man destined to live out his days as a half-beast, half-human. Yeah, but seeing one here felt almost <laughs> surreal. I kept a close eye on the beast as it ran. It picked up speed, having found its prey. A grizzly bear stood at the edge of the river, drinking, wholly unaware of what was happening. With lightning speed, the werewolf slammed into the bear and sent it tumbling 15 feet into a nearby tree. He, he likes to attack bears. Yeah, I saw. I've seen it. That's what I mean. Really? He goes bear hunting. I, I did know he does. He does do y that. Yeah. yeah. As it slumped into a pile, its neck at a nasty angle, the other wolves swarmed and fed. However, the werewolf stumbled to the riverside and let out another howl. But as it went on, his form shrank to that of a man on his knees, yelling up at the moon. <laughs> what the fuck? I told you. It's, it's yeah, it's, uh... <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's Josie, you want to read this? Um, so, you know, you know, Lex from the Rhodes Parlor House, he's apparently writing articles and he gave me this copy just for me to like pass around for people. And apparently, um, I, I, I was, my, my theory, I was thinking about buying it this Tiki. weekend, honestly. And everyone's been telling him, you know, you probably just saw Tiki. Hmm. <laughs> the thing is, Tiki's not that tall. He's not like eight feet tall. Yeah, but when he tall. stands up, he's pretty like broad and pretty I muscular. Guess, when yeah. he stands up, his wolf head makes him look really tall. This is true. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're yeah, right. True. He does look so <laughs> Oh, boy. All right, I'm going to go grab some dinner. I'll be back in, um, in a bit. All right? All right. All right. I guess I should have sponsored you, huh? Hey, you should've. Alright, I'm grabbing some food, I'll be back. Back in like, right, uh, go, 30 to an hour.
also recognized. <clears throat> Alrighty. There was another game I was looking at too. Because I was looking for a new city sim strategy game. Like, I want one that's like RimWorld, but doesn't have to be as fucking in depth balls to the wall as RimWorld is. Like, something a, a step down. You know, kind of like CK3. But, Empire of Sin. Hmm. I've never heard of that one. Let me see. Let me see what that one is. Empire of Sin, huh? Oh, is this like a mob one? <laughs> this is Al Capone right on the cover. Oh, it's by Paradox, too. Most of our reviews aren't that good. Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> Interesting. What is this? Like 10 bucks? Oh, it's on sale right now. Yeah, maybe I'll give it a shot. Interesting. Oh, is this like a... Um, this looks like a... A, a fucking... Like RPG kinda. Like like um God, what's the, the fighting style called where the the Oh my god, it's like um like Pokemon battle. Like you, you go into a battle. You you like run away or you fight and like there's a name for it, I can't think of it right now. Turn base, yes. Turn base. Yes. Interesting. Um, but yeah, Norland looked really cool. I'm probably gonna, I, I might buy that later today. Um, there was another game besides this one that I was interested in, because this does look like RimWorld type shit. Uh, 